All right, guys, with this next one, we're going to see what he's talking about in his, like, second to last video when he was talking to us. Um, we investigating um, Jay Versace trying to figure out what's going on. Did he fall off or, like, what? Like, did he just stop or quit or whatever, whatnot? You know what I'm saying? Um, we don't know. You know, we about to find out, though. But all right, here we go. Get this ready for you. Uh, make sure it's ready, you know. Got to make sure it's ready. All right, here we go. Cause first of all, bitch, you're not going to yell at me like that. <sighs> My mind is so powerful that I don't even know how to use it sometimes. You know, like my mind is so, I don't have a mind like some of y'all anything as fakes. I have a, 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 a mind of a mastermind. I have a mind of a genius. It's million dollar ideas in my brain. So when I see certain things that I do that don't align with how I think I would become that person, I start to backtrack or I start to be lazy. A big reason why I stopped YouTube is because I have so many ideas that I don't even know how to use my ideas. Like I don't even, I need like people to help me flush them out because my mind is so, it's, it's complicated. It's really complicated. Like just sitting here talking to the camera that's healing for me. It's very fun. I can do this shit all day, but I want to do something more production-wise. Like, I want to do short films. I want to do shit like that. But it's like, I want to align with people that fit what I want to do. Like, I don't want to be working with no anything-ass nigga. I don't want to be working with no anything-ass producer, anything-ass uh, cinema, cinema photographer, bitch, anything-ass actors, anything-ass script. Bitch, I want to do something that's real artistic. And then when I think of shit like that, it's like, damn, that shit costs money. And But I actually have the money to do it, but then that's where the lazy comes in that. It's like, bitch, I actually need a group of black people around me that motivate me and help me do that do those things so I feel like me not posting was just all those at once bitch not my phone oh bitch anyway okay I apologize for leaving I'm, I'm just gonna just I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay I'm gonna make these motherfucking, motherfucking videos and I'm gonna motherfucking stay and I'm gonna do what I fuck I have to do okay and that's on my menstrual so I just want to update y'all on what's been happening in my motherfucking life I've been living in North Hollywood for, what, two years? I moved to LA in 2016. I was living in Glendale. Then I moved to North Hollywood in 2016. And now it's 2019, so that's like two years. As far as creativity, when I was living in New Jersey, I was so creative and I was posting like multiple times a day because I was in this stagnant ass state with these stagnant ass humans. Wasn't nobody creating shit. And I felt so free. I don't know why. I felt like, I felt so inspired to create. Just looking at the shit around me, looking at where I was at and how everything was just so still. It was just a joke to me. Like, you niggas are a joke. And I literally would just make videos about it and just like, uh, and whether it was about family, friends, people around me, I was like, it was the videos based off that. Then I moved to LA and I moved to Glendale and you know I was creating or whatever. But then when I moved to North motherfucking Hollywood, that shit was... I was living in a building where people was constantly moving out, moving in. It was hella fucking drama in that building. Hella reality shows being filmed there. Loving hip hop, all these shit. And, that, and it just wasn't, it wasn't my energy. Like I'm very sen <clears throat> sensitive to stuff like that. It's like, so I'm very sensitive to things and just things happening around me very fast and it was making me uninspired to create. Seeing people get evicted, 
every other month. My, my neighbors getting evicted, seeing people move in and out. That's stressing me the fuck out when I just need to be in this completely zen mood in order to create the shit that I want to create. So, I made a really big decision. I moved to the hood. I moved to the motherfucking hood. And here's the reason why I moved to the motherfucking hood. I moved to the hood because I just like culture. It don't matter, I just like culture. I like living in place, I like being at places where people have lived there for over 20 years. People are- Be honest, bro. Seem like you're making a whole bunch of excuses. <laughs> I understand, but that was like you just make excuses. But you told you, you got lazy and not productive, you know. That happened in this game. People get burnt out, get tired of the same thing every day, stuff like that, and you just gotta keep on going. Let's continue. Are used to it. People are staying there for the rest of their life. People are comfortable. I like being, I like, I wanna get used to being settled in. Settled into where I'm staying at so I don't have to worry about no, oh, am I gonna live, am I gonna pay rent? Da, 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 da. No, bitch, I like being able to just be settled and be chilling and be able to create, be able to have fun and do whatever the fuck I want to do. So I moved to the hood, but I didn't move. Hold on. Yeah. That's milk. It's milk. Nice. Calm down. To like the hood hood. I moved to like the safe part of the hood, where it's like the upper class niggas, like the old people part of the hood. They have that in LA. If you're not from LA, you don't motherfucking know, bitch. I barely know what the fuck it means. So yeah, I moved to the motherfucking hood and I moved to a house. I got myself a house. I said, bitch, I no longer want to have an apartment. I know I no longer want to fucking live next to somebody. And I don't want to share walls with people, bitch. I want to live in my own walls. Like I want somebody to break down and bust down my walls. So yeah. Um, I told myself I was going to move before the end of this year. I ended up moving the week after I said it. And I moved into a beautiful ass house. And it's a beautiful ass backyard. It's a beautiful ass garden. I can fucking plant fruits and vegetables in this motherfucking bitch. And the neighborhood is fire. Like, all my neighbors are very nice. It's very safe out here. And it's very fun. Like, and it's very quiet and zen. And ugh, bitch, I love it. So now I'm... In the mind state, every every time I wake up, I'm like, all right, I can film. I want to film. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to work on this. I want to work on that. Now I'm inspired again. Now I'm ready to create again. And now here I am. So if you guys was wondering where I was at and why I left, bitch, this is the reason. This is where I'm back. And yeah, that's the update on my life. This year has been a very motherfucking hard year. But it also has been a good year. Like, I fucking... I've done some amazing ass things this year that I've never thought that I would be able to do. And I've got some amazing ass opportunities and there's a lot of crazy ass things coming up. Like the fact that I haven't even been posting and people have still been needing to book me for shit, that says a lot about what you create. It's people that just create anything and it's these fucking your faves will cre it's people out here that will create anything and suck anybody's dick and kiss anybody's ass and be a fucking caricature of a person so that they can have fame and fortune and opportunities and money but no bitch all I have to do is be my genuine self I don't have to be crazy I don't have to be insanely fucking hyper active in order to fucking receive things. I can just be myself, be creative, and be me. And the fact that people still fuck with me based off that, and I'm still, bitch, I'm doing really good right now, says a lot. So now I'm ready to really tackle shit on a whole nother level, bitch. I have so much shit. If y'all knew, bitch, I have so much shit planned. I have so much shit planned. Bitch, this year about to be 2020? Good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. All I gotta say is, bitch, be motherfucking ready. Here I motherfucking come. Don't ask no motherfucking questions again, bitch, until I motherfucking give you what you motherfucking was supposed to get. Don't ask me shit. Don't ask for nothing. Y'all gonna get what I get, and that's just that on that. And that's on period. Good night. So, that was basically like a rant. And... We're gonna go down to here.
Want to save money on? So after that, right? He posted up. The big decision was to I guess, to a little neighborhood. And then after that, he had one more video where he was cooking in this house. That's what we see so far. Stuck probably got taken down, things like that. Um, yeah. And then there's nothing after that. Hey guys, it's me. I was just wondering, like, what was going on, you know what I'm saying? Was it the algorithm or what happened? So I see that he ain't post up in a year. So, like, Trying to see if I see anything on him. Let's do this. It's about to be funny now. Not really. I got plug this back in. You got to pull it out, plug it back in. For some reason, it'd be messing up. So, the Jay Versace canceled. Jay Versace drag for sending not so nice pics to child. That was two years ago. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, he got jumped four years ago. Jay Versace exposed, putting out. Propaganda about heterosexual black men. That was a month ago. Mm. Try not to laugh. Uh, mm, that's the only thing I see so far, like drama wise. Debbie Sassy's open up about bullying, dealing with death. His love of the 90s and more and that's like three years ago so we're gonna go to this video that was like a month ago I am back here to do yet another Twitter analysis and yet again it is about this Straight Academy and, and preferably it's day. more so the black and bully everyone sector else of the, the Academy and as of a lot of times it tends to be. Now for those of you who are not I familiar with the person in this picture shit, that is Jay Versace. I've heard of him before, never followed him, like he never was appealing or anything like that to me with any of the content that he has ever actually, really produced like, but he has an audience trying to support and look he has a blue check and what if i told y'all about the negroes with blue checks now not all you of them know, are like that but whatever. too many of them are and many of them tend to spout a certain rhetoric but shout out to kid drilla uh, perry um a kid drilla perry by the way my well, mistake one the ones that, for you know, finding this post and then you know tweeting it so this is jay versace he's the one on the right in the picture down well, below on the right the and wall, this is a something. tweet he put out now before i read the tweet and y'all have already probably started, seen it you know it says I mean? why am i not surprised that at jay versace said this moist trash about straight black men then deleted it and his tweet says straight black men sit around all day and bully everyone else in the black community and i'm tired of it y'all do shit but complain Y'all don't do shit because it's cut off. He really said, y'all don't do shit, but complain and abuse. He wrote it at 925 a.m. on December 17, 2020. I'm recording this on December 18th, 2020. Someone tagged so me in this, recently. I think, the day before. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. 
I get so tired of having to do these top these type of videos when it comes to calling out the Academy. But there's a plot twist to this entire thing that actually made me want to do this video. And if I hadn't found it, I probably would have What's just ignored twist? it because it's like talking to a brick wall twist? at this point. But when you see the plot twist, it's going to be like, oh, wow. Really? And you'll see what I mean when I get to that point. So it got 316 retweets, 65 quoted tweets, and 2006 okay. likes. And I'm then, you, the um, like you Kid Driller Perry said, <laughs> he deleted it because people got into it, found it, and got into it. And then they decided, you know, they went at him. And then right, he Jago. went ahead and deleted the tweet. Now, y'all know how I like to do when it comes to these uh, posts and everything like that. I like to go into the quoted tweets uh, when people retweet it and um, quote or leave their own personal feelings about what the person said. And wait till you get a look at what people said about this. So this one said, you niggas act like white people. Now, I don't know if this person isn't responding to what Jay Versace said or if they talking about uh, straight black men in response to, response to what he said. This person says, because y'all niggas fucking suck. The only thing he did wrong was delete it. Now watch the pattern. Watch the pattern. So far, we've seen a response from two black women. This person said, can he tweet it again? Now, I don't know by this picture if this is a woman or a guy. If it's a guy, he's most likely in the academy. I want y'all to really pay attention to this, and I'm going to bring up the theory, my pro-black trinity theory again. Because this definitely applies to this post. But did he lie? Another yeah, black woman. Lie. Well, he's right. I can't call who wrote this because their avatar is of a, looks like an anime character. It says, I'm not listening to nobody with an American flag in their name. LF, LMFAO fuck up. And they're talking about the person who uh, tweeted this uh, about Jay Versace and not about what Jay Versace said himself. Which means that this person who is also black agrees with him. Again, another black woman. Uh, Jess said he was an adult trying to talk to 15 to 16 year olds. He's trying to abuse people too. And shout out oh. to um, Jess because I'm familiar with this account right here. Now that I did not know, but like I said, I did not, I don't follow him. So I wouldn't know. And apparently the word is allegedly that he uh, yeah, was trying to mess hole. with minors. I don't know what the whole thing is about that. But hole, in that academy, that doesn't surprise me. This person says, so you're mad at the truth. So they're basically saying what he said about black yeah, men, straight black truth, men in particular, uh, is truth. Actually, um, this person like says, I mean, like, he where, didn't where tell one lie me? for real. Like we stuff. see it from the outside, so this is men. actual factual. Not all straight men, but there's a good portion. That looks like another guy who's in the academy. Uh, this person says, I see a lot of quoted tweets are nothing but flag and pronoun Twitter agreeing with the cornball vine dudes bullshit take. Get over your little daddy issues. Uh, shout out to Prince Raw D. I think he follows me on here. Like I'm, like I said, I, the circle can become very small on Twitter when you when you see a lot of the same people pop up um, when they're following you or if you're following them. But I see them quite a bit in my mentions, and I think they do follow me. But shout out to them, um, by the way. Remember that link uh, video that I did about the weakest link thing, and they had black men as the weak paperclip. Well, this one says black women. Niggas like you, meaning uh, this Jay Versace, and black men is another strong link. This is, now this one, now look at this. It says, one, Jay spoke facts, and this thread only proves it. Two, there's too many black men with U.S. flag by their name in this thread. Remember, a U.S. flag automatic equals garbage opinions every time. So I'm guessing if... Uh, so since when did a U.S. flag next to your name represent something crazy like is it, is it really this serious it's like it's getting this crazy well because you're a proud American there's something wrong with that it seemed like a lot of positive stuff and stuff that's right, they try to make seem wrong lately. I noticed that. But let's continue. Uh, if you have a flag of a Caribbean place or any other place that's not in America, 
that defines who you are as far as your nationality that means that you're not trash as a black man that's funny that's very interesting and this too i can tell by the way this person is posed in this picture that they're part of the academy as well remember the trinity is to be pro-black you have to be a black woman you have to be a black person in the academy but whether man or woman and you have to hate black men so far we have seen all three of those in this thread and i've only read no more than 10 tweets i'm telling you my trinity it, it works every single time let's continue if I speak, I'll get suspended, so I'll just say ignore them niggas because they just want attention most of the time. This is all the Hall G black men and black women stands came rushing in with the same BS narratives as they usually do. Yeah. Um, this person said he must feel threatened because of low self-esteem, typical cooning on Twitter. Uh, this person said he's not wrong. Yet again, another black woman defending it. He said, I don't know why he deleted it because this applies to a lot of you niggas. Now, I don't know how this person identifies but we're going to throw them into the academy as well or at least an academy <laughs> collaborator this no, person says i thought i was going to open this and you... see a lie another black woman this is look at you doing exactly what he said y'all do i can't call it because this person has an emoji as their profile pic but they agree with what he yeah, said dude. this says you have the american flag and your whole name tells me everything i need to know so so basically they're saying that if you are a black person you have the american flag and your picture that means your opinion isn't isn't valid about what this guy said about straight black men or on anything for that matter so you're allowed to have a jamaican flag um a trinidad flag what else a haitian flag dominican flag a puerto rican flag anywhere else in the world but if you have an american flag and you are a black american or a foundational black american and you basically he's just gonna go through a whole bunch of different tweets and stuff that's crazy. Now here it is. A straight black man. And support. Little Jay Versace. Trying to figure out like where you been so oh, you funny da 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 This is where we don't went. No wonder he ain't posting two years. He he got some controversy. And we ain't even know. See, we ain't even know. And by him making a statement like that, it just brought, it started bringing a lot more stuff to light. I don't know why he would act like that. Like, it's crazy. You just say, so the video before that, he was saying he moved into the hood, you know, uh, upper class hood, I guess. So he could be around a community, more black people and stuff like that. But then, he put out a statement like this a month ago. This, I guess, you know, I'm trying not to like bring up all the stuff, but it all started coming out. Just wonder what happened. I don't know what this about. Oh, uh, that J. All right. Look, three years ago, Jay Fisachi tried it. Jay Fisachi tried it. Game of Thrones trailer. I did cancel because that's like a newer term, whatever. Um, let's say they be getting rid of the filters. They always be changing them around and stuff. Type upload dates on this week. Let's see if somebody did something this week. 24 hours being pregnant. a month because that was a month ago
So you just finally get rested for our dark pass. Yeah, that girl crazy. Like, I don't see nothing. <sighs> okay, let's do this. This year. Let's see. I don't see nothing from this year. It's like they trying to get me off the subject. We're going to do expose. Alright, Jay Versace Drag. We're sending not some nice pics to child. Jay Versace reacts to two Hispanics. Call him the N word. Let's see when that, that was a year ago. This was two years ago. I think he was like fairly young though. I don't know. How old was he like three years ago? Nah, I don't know. He probably like 18, 19. Probably was older than that. I don't know. I ain't taking no for me. <laughs> how quick I switched. <laughs> I tried to be, you know, I tried to be supportive of shit. Jerry Sashi destroys Freddie Gibbs. How old are you? Water Buffalo. We got into a story to get. I'm all good this video. Three minutes. Jay Versace out of print. I remember that. Jay Versace versus Ratch. Ratch. Instagram Live Roast Battle. So he been doing a lot of stuff I could see on. Um, Instagram. They besides you reacts to two Hispanics coming out. I can't keep this a secret. Oh, so it came out four years ago. You ain't come out. That was you coming out. We all knew what you was. I guess he's saying. Is that he's sexually confused? I guess he likes chicks too. Some people just freaks. You know? No, I'm not saying it in a negative term. I'm just saying he just like to do stuff. There's some people like that in the world. No shade. Basically, this nigga did something. I don't even want to bring that over here. Um, Princeton. Yeah, Princeton. That's the name. That dude look older. He's a young kid. He look like he's like 22. I don't know. I ain't even going to get to But that's it for that video, man. We're going to stop this right here. Before we um jump into a rabbit hole that's too deep, man, we're gonna pull up out <laughs> here, man. But yeah, I'm King J Smooth with another one, man. Um, we just trying to best game, see what's going on with Jay Versace, man. Uh, we found out a lot. Uh, we don't know where he at now. I guess he over on Instagram doing stuff, whatever. You know, best luck to you. Um, hope you change your views about black men, straight men, and stuff. You know. There's a lot of cool brothers out here that don't judge and you know what I'm saying Come from different lifestyles and you know, so 
It is what it is. But I'll holler at you later. Peace out, Royal Family. I don't know why I signed out like that. We about to do some more reviews. But I'll be back.